Hi, this is Michael VK5ZE8 from Port Lincoln, South Australia. A quick YouTube video for you. Today I want to show you the IRC DDB remote app that's available for Android on the Google Play Store. This is for both smartphones and tablets and it allows remote control of the Jonathan Naylor IRC DDB gateway software. Uh, many have been playing with this software over the last few years. Um, I've got it running on my Raspberry Pi powered portable hotspot. You might have seen this device featured in another one of my videos. At the moment I've got this connected to my home network and uh, I found the IP address that this has been assigned in my router's DHCP table so I know where to aim the remote software. Um, you will need to know that when you're configuring the software. Um, the radio I'm going to be using is an IC91A. It's got the D-Star module in it and uh, we can just transmit and we'll see that the gateway is responding. Very nice. So let's start up the app. Now the author is David PD7L and many thanks to David for allowing this to be a free download. That's uh, very, very kind. And also to Yarn PD0NUW who's uh, the tester for the software as well. This is the main screen. Uh, there's a refresh button at the top where you can just hit refresh and it'll get the latest um, settings if they've changed since the app's been running. Um, I'll show you the settings options and uh, here we can set the IP address of the gateway and uh, that's the internal IP address of my Raspberry Pi. Uh, the server port, this is configured in the IRC DDB gateway configuration file. I've got mine set at 19,999 and also the password um, five characters only. Um, I only use this internally on my network. Um, you can potentially open this up uh, to access via the internet if you forward the appropriate port through to this uh, to your gateway software on your internet router. Um, I think it's fairly sec uh, secure mainly due to the obscurity of the software. I don't think many port scanners would know what to do with IRC DDB gateway if they found it open on the internet. You can also select up to four uh, servers in the configuration so you don't have to go into the settings to, if, you, if you have multiple gateways you want to control. Okay at the top of the screen here you can see the radio module it's connected it's saying it's VK5 RACC there's only one radio on my gateway and that's the DVAP dongle if you had multiple systems you can then select them from that little arrow you see uh, next to the C and it'll drop down the letters of the radio modules you have connected Below that is linked to, and at the moment it's not linked, it's idle, doing nothing. The next line down is where you can select the reflectors to connect to. This allows you to connect to um, uh, XRF, DCS and REF, D plus reflectors as well. And then you can select the, uh, n the, or the, the number of the uh, reflector and also the module within the reflector as well and once you've done your selections then you hit the arrow button and the gateway will link. Okay. And some activity on XRF21 Bravo, the D Star or the Canadian D Star net will be starting very soon as well. So I imagine that Okay, so and also at the bottom here. Hit the disconnect and that will unlink it. Not linked. There we go. Um, also, here you can select um, frequently accessed reflectors and gateways. Uh, I've got Reflector 1 Charlie here as well, so we can just press that and the system will link up to that. Link 2 R E F 0 0 1 Charlie. Okay, perfect. No activity in Reflector 1 Charlie at the moment, and you'll see that it says link to REF001C on the screen. And once again, then we can just hit the disconnect button to disconnect. Not linked. Um, the next line down, you can actually select a gateway or reflector manually completely. Um, you can uh, press that, and it brings up the keyboard and you can change the call sign of the system you want to connect to. I've got this set to VK5REX which is my own D-Star gateway up on the hill and then you can also select the module and in the same fashion you hit the arrow button and it will link up to that gateway. 
message at the bottom that it's linked to VK5REXB. There we go. And once again we can disconnect and it'll say not linked. Not linked. So that's basically how the app works. I'll link back up to the uh, XA21 Bravo for the Canadian DStarnet. E7FKY. Things are about to start. Okay, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln, South Australia. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 7-3s for now, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.